that's the truth. When your why is big enough, the how does not matter. That's right. I, I spoke about it earlier. You may find yourself either when you're all alone or in conversation, and you get, you know, sometimes you kind of like begin to train a thought, and you, as soon as you want to put your hand on this, something's missing. And what's missing is you're trying to fill a void. You're trying to fill a void, and the void is what God wants you to do. That's why sometimes you're unfulfilled. That's why sometimes we make several trips back, to, back and forth to the refrigerator. That's why sometimes, you know, we do whatever we do and we can't enjoy it. Because you're really trying to fill a void and you're filling it with the wrong thing. But if you're in your gift, there's no point to fill because you're where you're designed to be. But if you cannot prevent someone from being in your personal space, you cannot afford to let them in your mental space. Don't let them rent space there. You cannot afford to do that. You can make the difference. If not in everyone else's life, at least in your own life. Does that make sense? Yeah. You see, it's all about you. And then what you're going to find out, after you realize it's all about you, you're going to find out it's not about you. It's about what have you developed that you can give, share, or empower someone else with. Yeah, right. But it's one thing at a time.